Hi guys, good morning. If we're in this setup, you probably know what's about to go down. This is my signature seasons flip through setup. Today, um, I don't have snacks, but I do have beverages. I've got some ice water in my new Yeti travel tumbler. Because I love some H2O. And then in my wifey mug, um, I've got some Arctic white hot chocolate. Oh, can't see. It's not going to happen. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I have some Arctic white hot chocolate and it's white. And I know that probably sounds stupid, but I just figured it'd be like flavored like white hot chocolate. I didn't think it would actually come out white, but it is white hot chocolate. So once this cools down, we'll get into this, but I always need like a cold drink and a warm drink because I get too hot just drinking hot chocolate. And I know it's going to burn my tongue right now. So we're going to wait on that. But I got two of these for December. Um, this is the food holiday food and entertaining catalog. The other one I got is the normal magazine that has all the other stuff, but the food stuff was mostly Thanksgiving. So I want to do this instead because it has things that are good for Christmas too. So right off the bat, we've got this wreath full of cheese. It's like a charcuterie board and a wreath. So that looks really quite delicious. Easy as pie holiday prep. So the contents of this are bakery, meat, seafood, and deli, cheese and charcuterie, meals made easy, gift baskets, and party trays is last but not least. Also, I'm sorry, this has taken me so long to do this. Annette, this is for you. I thought of you this morning when I was like, you know what, Annette deserves this. We're gonna make this happen today. So first up is the bakery. It says holiday cookies, luscious pies, artfully decorated cupcakes, and fresh loaves of artisan breads. Hy-Vee Bakery has so many fresh, tempting, and delicious choices to fill out menus, from appetizer through dessert, ready to unwrap and serve at home, and convenient to tote as a welcome contribution to a hungry gathering. Wow, okay, so over here we've got lots of pies. This looks like maybe some like French silk pie or something. This looks like cheesecake with maybe like a raspberry ribbon through it. This looks like classic sweet potato or pumpkin pie, not sure which. And then over here we've got some cookies and then some cupcakes. Yum! Yum! I'm not normally, I don't normally have a massive sweet tooth, but lately I've been eating all of the sugar and it's getting really out of control. But that's the holidays for you. In 2021, I'm actually setting a goal to, I'm not gonna go crazy and like completely cut myself off, but Monday through Friday, I'm not gonna eat gluten or treats. And we're gonna see how it goes. just Monday through Friday because I can't say goodbye to gluten and treats forever. So I'm not going to. Okay. Holiday pies. Let me get you something to look at like my little kindergarten class. <laughs> Tell party goers to leave plenty of room for dessert. Pies from Hy-Vee are full of fresh ingredients to deliver a flavorful experience that family and friends will reminisce over for years to come. There's the Southern Pecan Pie, which is, it says the holiday favorite that has it all. Savory, crunchy, creamy, and sweet. And that's this one. And then it says Lemon Meringue Pie. Tangy lemon filling covered with fluffy meringue. Wow. I've never had a lemon meringue pie. I like lemon flavored things, but usually not in my pies or cookies. Although my mother-in-law makes really good lemon bars and wow. Okay, over here we've got cherry pie, flaky and delicate pie crust filled with red cherries for a sugary tart taste. I know I would hate that because I hate cherries, but if you like cherry pie. Um, supreme brownie, wait, peppermint brownie supreme pie. Chocolate mint brownie in a flaky pastry shell topped with whipped cream and red and white chocolate curls. Wow, look how cute that is. Look at the little curls. Oh, I'm very into that. That's really cute. And then... Um, apple lattice pie, gooey, sweet, and made with fresh apples and spices for superior flavor. I love when apple pie has these lattices. I'm really into those. And then French silk pie, a symphony of sweetness made with real cocoa and topped with a cloud of whipped cream and semi-sweet chocolate curls. 
I want to learn how to curl my chocolate like that because the chocolate curls are very cute. Also, I need to make sure this stays up. I'm not wearing pants right now because I'm going to wear leggings today, but I'm sure this couch and blanket have cat hair all over them because Lupin likes to hang out in here. So I wasn't ready to get cat hair all over my pants. So I just need to keep, if I, so I see, if I seem weird about the blanket, that's what's going on. I'm making sure that my, I'm covered. Okay. Dress up your pie. Add flavorful flair to Hy-Vee Gourmet Pies. Here are our favorite toppers. Okay, all right, I, li I like this. Topping our pies. This is blueberry pie, topped with whipped cream and a sprinkle of cinnamon or nutmeg. Cool whip. Anyone like Family Guy? Cool whip. Every time I think of whipped topping or whipped cream or a cool whip, I always say it like that. Anyways, okay. <laughs> Coconut meringue pie, topped with chopped hazelnuts and shredded toasted coconut. I love coconut, so I feel like I would be into that. Chocolate cream pies down here, topped with crushed mint cookies and chocolate sauce drizzle. Dutch apple pie topped with vanilla ice cream and salted caramel sauce. Yum. Strawberry rhubarb pie topped with sliced strawberries and fresh mint. Okay, that pie has a lot of fruit in it. And I've never had rhubarb, so I'm not really sure what that tastes like. Banana cream pie topped with crumbled Nilla wafers. I feel like that's a classic topping. Okay, over here we have, basically they're just listing their pies again. Blueberry, or pumpkin pie, blueberry pie, coconut meringue pie, chocolate cream pie, Dutch apple pie, strawberry rhubarb pie, and banana cream pie. Listed like that. Mmm, moving on to cake and cupcakes. Okay, before we do that, let me have a little sipilation of this. I'm very nervous. I don't want a burnt tongue. Okay, don't burn me, please. Hmm. I don't usually like white chocolate, but not bad. And not burning me, so we're good there. Okay. Cake and cupcakes. Have an idea for a cake design? Stop by or call our local bakery for an appointment with a cake designer. You'll be delighted to see your vision become reality. This is dark chocolate peppermint double layer holiday cake. Rich chocolate cake coated in creamy peppermint frosting. Holy bananas. That's a pink cake. And then on the back, I'm gonna read you these descriptions and then show you them. So like be picturing in your heads what these look like. We've got raspberry laced vanilla gourmet mini cupcakes. It has little chocolate curls on the top again. Ooh, peanut butter cup gourmet mini cupcakes. It's like a chocolate cupcake with some peanut butter icing and then some chocolate icing and a little peanut butter cup on top with some like crushed peanuts. Salted caramel walnut gourmet mini cupcakes. Red velvet gourmet mini cupcakes. And it has like the chocolate stick things stuck in there. White Almond Wedding Gourmet Mini Cupcakes. Peppermint Supreme Gourmet Mini Cupcakes that look a lot like this, but in cupcake form. Chocolate Addiction Gourmet Mini Cupcakes. Mocha Espresso. Oh, don't get me started on this. Okay, all right, I'm not gonna go off on a tangent. I hate when people say espresso. Mocha Espresso Gourmet Mini Cupcakes and then Variety Pack Gourmet Mini Cupcakes. Did they look like what you thought they would? Doesn't this one look just like the big cake? This one though, this peanut butter one, ooh, I need that. I always talk about how good these things look. I can I can go get it any time. hy is five minutes away from me. I need to go to hy very soon. Holiday cheesecakes. Love cheesecake so much. I don't like regular cake, really. Brent and I had cheesecake at our wedding even because neither of us really like regular cake, but I love cheesecake. So I guess hy carries the Cheesecake Factory cheesecakes. So they've got the classic, the um, all-American, which is exclusively at Hy-Vee. It says vanilla cake, strawberry ma mascarpone mousse. I said that weird. Mascarpone, 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 whatever, however you pronounce the word. And cheesecake with blueberry and strawberry swirls. Ooh, I guess that's why it's called the all-American. That's what that one looks like. And then pumpkin cheesecake, yum says delicious pumpkin cheesecake topped with whipped cream and pecans and then a cinnabon layer 
layer of cinnamon cinnamon cheesecake and vanilla crunch cake filled with cream cheese icing and caramel. Okay. And then vanilla bean, Tahitian vanilla bean cheesecake, white chocolate whipped mousse and whipped cream. And then fudge cake, which is rich fudge chocolate layers cake, icing and chocolate cream rosettes. So they've got Cheesecake Factory cakes and cheesecakes. Yum, 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 yum. I love cheesecake. I haven't had it in a very long time. Festive cookies. Fresh cookies from the Hy-Vee Bakery are so good that even Santa will ask for a second. Treat family, friends, and Old St. Nick to these wonderfully delicious cookies. Look how cute. Mrs. Claus with her rosy little cheeks. They have triple chocolate chip cookie. It's right there. Butter spritz cookies. I love butter cookies. They're so simple and plain, which makes you feel like you can eat a million of them, and they're so yummy. Iced cut out shaped, iced cut out shaped holiday cookies. Christmas bells are ringing to tempt taste buds. And then coconut pecan cookies, that sounds good. Decorated chocolate chip cookie, chocolate chunk cookie, thumbprint cookies, and white chip cookie with macadamia nuts. They're all of those. Speaking of white chocolate macadamia nuts, let's get into my Arctic white hot chocolate. Mm. As far as warm drinks go, are you a coffee person? Are you a tea person? Are you a hot chocolate person? Are you, yeah, What what is your warm drink choice? I'm a hot chocolate person. My mother-in-law gave me some peppermint tea to try though. I don't really like tea, but she says it's pretty good. Um, but I don't drink coffee and what's funny is my secret Santa at work this week gave me a bunch of um a bunch of little magnets that say coffee things like one's just a mug of coffee one says it's coffee time or coffee o'clock or mm, i can't remember but they all had to do with coffee and i thought it was funny because i thought everyone in my office knew that i don't drink coffee because i feel like i'm the only person who doesn't um also the underwriters at my office gave me some fireball so I don't drink, but maybe I should start tonight on my live with you. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Things could get crazy. Okay. Best brownies. Nothing beats the first bite of a soft, moist brownie. Hy-Vee's lavish selection is rich with divine flavor. These look phenomenal. They look so decadent and sweet and delicious and divine and all of the good D adjectives. Fudge brownies, classic topped with lush chocolate frosting. Cream cheese brownies, soft heavy brownies topped with a layer of cream cheese frosting and chocolate loops. Turtle brownies, I love turtle. Deliciously indulgent chopped walnuts and caramel frosting. And then German chocolate brownies, oh, also love German chocolate. Top layer of caramel pecan bits and coconut plus chocolate drizzle. All of those look so good. Which is your favorite? Which is your favorite? I don't know. I think I'd like the, I don't know, the German chocolate or the turtle probably is my favorite. Okay, sweet trays. They make up trays for your parties. There's a jumbo variety pack muffin tray that has banana nut, red velvet, chocolate chip, blueberry, lemon poppy seed, double dutch, apple spice, pistachio, and cranberry orange. Then they have a butter spritz cookie tray, which is like those butter cookies we were talking about. <clears throat> and then an assorted mini gourmet cupcake tray. And they're the beautiful cupcakes that we looked at, but mini size. I would, this is my jam. I love mini things. Anything in a small size is just so cute. The travel size aisle of things at the store is like my favorite aisle to go down. I love travel size things. They're just so cute. <laughs> I love them. I'm just so baffled that this is white chocolate, like white hot chocolate. Mm, it's just so interesting. Okay, moving right along. Here's more of the cookies. They've got a sugar cookie tray, a holiday thumbprint tray with red and green, a variety pack cookie tray, which is all of those, a butter spritz and thumbprint cookie tray, and then assorted gourmet cookie tray that has white chip with macadamia nut, coconut pecan, and chocolate chunk. And then they have a gourmet brownie tray 
and a candy tray that has peanut brittle, chocolate bark, chocolate coated pretzels, peanut clusters, and more. Wow, I need to throw a party just to get some of these items. But obviously a COVID safe party, less than 10 people, socially distance, unless you're in your household, it'll be fine. Okay, artisan bread. Mm, I love bread. Oh my gosh. Bread makes this world a better place. Okay, there's artisan Asiago cheese bread. Let me, let me give you a loaf to look at. There's artisan cranberry walnut bread, chewy bread with sweet cranberries and earthy walnuts. There's artisan challah bread. It looks like challah, but I know that it's pronounced challah, so good job me. Braided loaf with slightly spongy texture and sweet tangy taste. I've made challah bread before. So I feel like that's why I know it's pronounced like that, but it's really, really yummy. Artisan French baguette, artisan French boule, crusty exterior, dense interior with open crumb, ideal for sandwiches. Boule, French for ball, refers to the loaf shape. Interesting. And then San Francisco sourdough bread. I love San Francisco. And then artisan raisin walnut bread. Look at all these delicious breads. There's the hollow bread. Mm, I love bread. Bread, bread, bread. Okay. Roll call. Light and flaky dinner rolls always have a place at the table. Melt in your mouth, cinnamon rolls for breakfast, tender golden croissants, and petite slider buns are welcome for comforts. Cinnamon rolls, I don't know why I stopped at cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon rolls remind me of Sunday mornings because growing up um, in my house, we always had cinnamon rolls before church and my stepdad would go downstairs and make them while my mom and my sister and I were all getting ready and my brother too, I guess. And uh, so the smell of cinnamon rolls would like waft through the house on Sunday mornings. Mm, so yummy. And we used to also have them on Christmas morning, I think, growing up. Wagon wheel dinner rolls, light and buttery pull apart rolls to serve at the table or buffet. Mini croissants, petite, sweet, and flaky to serve plain or with a dab of butter and jam. Clover leaf rolls, individual pull apart to butter and nibble one tender section at a time. Large croissants, buttery, flaky, tender, and so good as a sandwich or on its own, and then slider buns, small and mighty to hold a vast array of hearty fillings. That's what all those look like. Yum. Yum, guys. Major yum. More rolls. More rolls. Ooh, and then over here we've got dipped berries. Ghirardelli chocolate covered strawberries for spirited holiday fun and sweet treats. Bite into a colorful chocolate covered berry. And they're red and green for the holidays. I love that. Meat, seafood, and deli. Also, um, this magazine is available online. You can download it online and you can look at it through yourself, look through it yourself. Um, so I'll leave the link in my description for where you can get the magazines. Cause some of you have mentioned like, oh, I wish I had hy V. Even if you don't have hy V, you can still look through the stuff and maybe like try to recreate it or see if your local grocery store has something similar. Okay, meat bundles. There's different meat bundles you can get for your parties. Meat. Yum. Yummy meat. Seafood. I don't really like seafood, so we're going to just skip right on past that. Shrimp cocktails. Deli trays. Okay, here we go. Deli trays. So we've got the Formaggio Entertainment Tray that has a million different cheeses. Then we've got the Fiesta Entertainment Tray that has refried beans, sour cream, grated Monterey Jack and cheddar cheeses, fresh ripe tomatoes, um, ripe olives, salsa, and green onions, like a dip situation. There's the party pleasing snacking tray that has cubed meats and cheeses and grapes. And then the festo entertainment tray with salami and pepperoni and provolone. The cocktail sandwich tray, the meat tray that's literally just deli meat. Um, the delusa rotella tray that has wraps and then pretzel bites and cheese dip tray. Which tray would you get? I imagine that I would be into the cocktail sandwich tray or the pretzel bites and cheese could be really good. 
-hmm. Cheese and charcuterie. Has anyone made their own charcuterie board? I'm very curious. Because I like watching them be made, but I've never made one myself. But look, I just, I think they're beautiful. There's this girl I, not girl, there's this woman I follow on TikTok. Um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I just got a text, oh my gosh. In my group text with my mom and my sister, oh my gosh, my heart. And um, it was a video, a TikTok video, but it looked like a thumbnail from one of my YouTube videos. And I thought that my mom and sister had just discovered my channel and I was gonna be mortified. Okay, wow, okay, heart attack over. So anyways, there's this woman I follow on TikTok who makes charcuterie boards and her videos are beautiful and she has like a lot of ASMR sounds in them because she's like unwrapping packages and cutting fruit and it all looks so yummy. So if I remember, I'll put her TikTok stuff in down there too because that's good stuff. Okay, Brie prepared. Soft, silky Brie deserves a spot on every cheese board. Pair with fruits, jams, and jellies for sublime sweetness and contrast the creaminess with crisp crackers. I love a good alliteration. Okay, board bests. Prosciutto, panino, cheese logs or balls. I love a cheese ball at the holidays. Love a cheese ball. Um, so make sure you have all of those items. And then you build your board. Number one, pick a surface. Choose slate or wooden boards, both available in your local hy -Vee. Make sure it's an appropriate size. Then you want to assemble your cheese, and then you want to add on. Fill in with fruits, cured meats, crackers, breads, spreads, jams, and garnishes. Um, so, interesting. Okay, cool, I like that it gives you a little guide on how to build a charcuterie board. And what cheeses go with what. There's different varieties. And then you add finishing touches, like little crostinis, chutneys, hot pickled asparagus, if you're weird, pretzel crisps, uh, Kerrygold Irish butter, and then fig spread. And then sweet and salty, almonds and pecans fit right in alongside meats, cheeses, and other board fare. Find these items and more in the hy Deli, of course. My hot chocolate is getting a little bit, it's just very lukewarm right now. Okay, jam session, mango habanero jam, hot pepper bacon jam, yum, I love jams. And then perfect pairs, start with a crispy cracker, spread a soft cheese, fruity jam, and top with fruits and herbs. That's what that looks like. Yum, yum, yummo, yummo. Charcuterie ready. <laughs> and so you can get charcuterie boards that are already made up if you don't want to make your own. Love that, love convenience. Meals made easy. They've got meal packs that come with like ham and turkey all ready to go. Ooh, delicious side options for your holiday meal pack. Okay, question. I've asked lots of questions, but here's another one. When you guys, your Christmas meal, is your Christmas food like your Thanksgiving food? Do you have like a ham or a turkey and like the potatoes and the veggies and the stuffing and the bread? Like what does your Christmas meal look like compared to your Thanksgiving meal? I'm curious. But here's all the different sides. I'll gratin potatoes, Brussels sprouts with spiced honey butter, mashed potatoes, honey citrus Waldorf salad, green bean casserole, sweet potato casserole, sage bread dressing, buttered sweet corn, Caesar salad, holiday potatoes with cheddar, and then banana cream pie and apple pie. They're indivi individual. Oh, never mind. I was very confused. But there's all those sides. Love the sides. And then, okay. Here's what it all looks like on the table. So beautiful. Prime rib, gross. Vegetarian crap. Meals for two or a few. This looks so nice. I love food photography. I think it's really beautiful. Winging it done right. Meaty, saucy chicken wings from Hy-Vee. Please a crowd of any size. Choose from five flavorful sauces and remember to ask for extra napkins. They have barbecue, buffalo, general sow, honey mustard, and honey roasted garlic. Those are the sauces to choose from. They all look delicious, but you know that I would be getting boneless. I don't like to work for my food and I don't like messy fingers. 
garlic cheese bread and Italian party tray. Okay, okay. These are some of the best looking things in this entire magazine. And then mix and match apps. With appetizers, more variety is always better and hy -Vee's vast options will please every guest. Okay, here are their appetizers. Let me look, you can look at them while I tell you about them. Pancetta wrapped asparagus, stuffed mushrooms, antipasto skewers, fruit kebabs, veggie trays, cubed cheese, chicken satays, crab rangoons, oh yum, I love a crab rangoon, egg rolls, assorted nori sushi, bruschetta. Actually, fun fact, our caterer uh, informed me that bruschetta is not pronounced bruschetta. If you wanna pronounce it correctly and sound sophisticated and like a person who eats bruschetta, you call it bruschetta. Who knew that? Did you guys know that? I did not know that until Scott told me, but it's called bruschetta. Anyways, spinach and artichoke dip, hummus and fresh pita, chips and fresh salsa, buffalo chicken dip, chicken wings, chicken tenders, cocktail sandwiches, cocktail smokies, barbecue and Swedish meatballs, shrimp, crab cakes and dill sauce, and brownie cocktail trays. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten yet today, and this is all sounding delicious. Sushi, superb soups. Yum. I love a soup. Would you guys be into a soup video if I did a soup video? I really like soup and like dipping bread in it or crackers. Corn and green chili chowder, pasta fagioli, and lobster bisque. And last but not least, we've got gift baskets. Look at all that beautiful fruit. They have a classic fruit basket, taste sensation basket, market basket, and tropical treat basket, along with a wine basket, hostess basket, and spirits basket. So, guys, we made it through the entire magazine. Oh, ho, ho, and then candy baskets. Look at all that yummy chocolate. And then in the back, all it is is prices of everything. Okay, cool. Well, we made it through the whole catalog. We haven't done that yet before, but this one was all about food, which is why I wanted to show you this one instead of the other one. It was all Thanksgiving crap, so. No, I love Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving's over. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will continue to do these as long as you guys like them. I love that you like them because they're kind of fun. They're a break from what I normally do. But um, today is Saturday. It's currently 12.15. I need to leave in half an hour to go pick up my little. Today we're going to pop some popcorn. I have some M&Ms that we can maybe throw in our popcorn if we're feeling feisty, feisty. If we're feeling feisty, if we're feeling festive. Is the F word that I meant to use there. Um, and then we're gonna have some hot chocolate probably, so I'm gonna have some more. Um, and then we're gonna watch a Christmas movie. I'm thinking maybe Elf or Home Alone. I've already watched Elf this season, but it's a classic and you can't go wrong. And then we're gonna make a bucket list of all the things that we wanna do together. So we're just gonna, that way if we don't, I don't know, that way we don't have to think of every single thing right before we do it. We'll be able to refer to our list and be able to pick something and there'll be things that we've come up together, come up with together. Um, I'm very excited about it. I think it'll be fun. So I'm gonna hang out with her for a couple of hours and then I'm gonna have dinner with my parents and then I'm going to go live tonight. I posted on my community tab this morning that I'm getting a box of cookies from one of my favorite small businesses. I'll talk more about them tonight during my live. I wish. I got something out of this. I don't, I paid for these cookies and it sounds like I'm gonna like promote them, but I just really like them and they're a small family business and I love them. And uh, so I want to share these cookies with you. They, they don't make a bad cookie. All of their cookies I've ever had are so yummy. But we ordered the um, Christmas box and it comes with a figgy, well, it comes with 13 cookies, but has figgy pudding, um, chocolate, white, chocolate white christmas um a white chocolate dipped ginger snap cookie and then a chocolate peppermint cookie and then the 13th cookie is just a classic sugar cookie so i'm going to be taste testing those um tonight when i go live and we'll just chat about the holidays and whatever else comes to our brains so hopefully i'll see you there um and it'll be a good time so anyways hope you guys have a great saturday and i'm in a great mood now this I was very stressed this morning. I, there was a lot of running around, um, kind of having some 
con conflict, some contention with Brent. So he took a little snooze and I came to do this and I'm feeling much better, ready to be nice, ready to be a good wife, ready to be a good big, and I'm ready to have a great day. So hope you guys have a great Saturday and I'll talk to you guys tonight, hopefully.